Kia ora everyone, SJ here from NZ Fight Report, coming to you from Aotearoa's very first MMA Expo. It's crazy here today, as you can see we've got a whole lot of stores happening behind us, let's go check it out. We're here with the promoter of the event, Herman. Give us a few more details about what it takes to put something like this together. It takes a lot of friends and all the fight community to pull, pull everybody together. What are you most excited about? The kids, the kids that are coming here to compete for the kickboxing and the grappling. The expo is pretty much based around them. So that's how I focus the expo around the kids in their future. That's the plan anyway, to build it and uh, hopefully get more kids competing on the day as well. Um, I think it's brilliant. So it's good for the community. It's good for um, MMA New Zealand. A lot of people don't know about the whole MMA scene and it's the first of its kind. I'm just looking forward to seeing some fights. As, as usual, you know, that's my favourite part of the, the whole scene. Guys, what do you think of the Expo so far? It's awesome. Great. Do you know who you're fighting today? No, i got no idea. Nah. How are you feeling about your fights? Are you excited? Are you pumped? I'm excited. Relaxed. The expo is really good, like it's just starting to, to get cranking now. It looks really good with the cage and everything and everyone set up all their stalls. Um, more and more people coming in and everyone's here. We're here with Kat and Olivia, a couple of the fighters from today. Girls, how excited are you? Very, very excited. <laughs> yeah, there is a, everything, the whole atmosphere, it's, it's really awesome. So what are you guys doing here? What are you guys up to? Well, we're doing tattoos, and tattoos are empowerment, and fighters need empowerment. You see a lot of top fighters, they've got a lot of tattoos, and that's what we're here for. Tattoo the fighters. So right now, we're getting to the fight event part of the day. We've got some women's grappling and wrestling going on up in the back there. We've also got some kids going hard out. Check these guys out. You guys are world champions. Can you tell me what world champions you are? Jiu-Jitsu. How long have you guys been doing Jiu-Jitsu for? I've been doing it for five years and James has been going for four years. Have you gone and had a talk to James Tehuna? Yep. We got we had a picture and a talk. After talking to our world champs, it's time to hunt down the big guns. So, New Zealand's first MMA Expo. How do you feel about it so far? Uh, it's just pretty it surprised me, it's really, really big. Everyone's, uh, uh, a lot of numbers have come down, a lot of stalls, a lot of demonstrations, and um, it's good to see, good to see the growth of the sport. Now there's been a lot of talk about the USC coming to New Zealand. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, it'll be, it'll be great if it comes here. I think um, in the Ultimate Fighter, Ultimate Fighter with New Zealand versus Australia will pump up the sport, and uh, it'll be great for the, the two countries. Mr. Ensign Inuag, who's doing a seminar here at the Expo. And is there anything you're particularly excited about at this Expo? Is there one thing you're looking forward to? Well, um, I, I know you, New Zealand has a lot of good kickboxers. So I'm kind of interested and excited to you know, bring the ground fighting to some of the kickboxers. Like, you know, I fought Ants, Ants Nansen. I, he's an awesome kickboxer. Um, he want to build up his ground a little. A lot of the fighters that come out of New Zealand are strikers and are awesome strikers. So bringing the level up in the ground is kind of exciting for me. So I'm kind of looking forward to the seminar. I'm here with New Zealand's very own Mark Hunt. Come here to check out New Zealand's very first MMA Expo. Welcome. How's it feel to be back home? It feels good. Uh, it's great to be here. You know, first MMA Expo. It's, it's uh, really good. So obviously you've got quite a few fans here in New Zealand. Everyone I can see everyone gathering here, kind of chasing you around the Expo. What do you have to say to your New Zealand-based fans? Uh, it's good to see uh, the, the, have the support. You know, it's, um, it's a sport that I knew was coming for a long time. I've been doing this sport for a long time. I was fighting in some of the biggest organisations in the world and doing it before anyone else was doing it. So it's a, it's a blessing to see it come this far. I knew it was coming a long time anyway, but um, it's good. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of talent this side of the world, you know, and uh, they can have a look at myself and Jamie and um, some goals for them to look up to and answer to be like. So. Yeah. Is there anyone you want to give props to? Um, of course, to God because He's the only one that makes everything happen, and uh, to my wife and kids for uh, you know keeping up with me all the time. So you know, it's, it's uh, and also for Ehrman for bringing me over here. So it's great. Thank you so much, and for you guys. So so you can give me my ten bucks now. This <laughs> guy. Chatting to the guys is great. So we thought this time we'd go and check out what's happening in the stores and then around the expo. And we're here with Aaron from Strike Force, Thai Boxing and MMA Gym. What do you think of the Expo so far? Uh, I think it's a great idea. 
it's good to see uh, everyone coming in and working together to uh, promote the sport and um, yeah, taking it to the next level. Ah, oh, the Expo, it's just, it's just good to see numbers, mate. You know, it's just encouraging. I mean, you know, as far as the sport goes. It's so awesome to see so many different people and new people, because I'm really old and I've been in this sort of for a long time. Um, so I think that's the most exciting thing, is just to see it grow. What do you think of the Expo so far? I'm pretty impressed. I'm actually pretty overwhelmed. There's a lot of people, a lot of activities going on. So Raina Activewear, tell us a bit more about it. A boutique activewear label out in Wellington um, coming out with a line um, in a couple of months. Um, so keep your eye out. We um, pretty much based in South Auckland, we love to help people get fit and just teach them about um, ways of getting fit and helping families and that sort of stuff. What's your favourite part about it? Probably like just to get up in the morning and get muddy in there. Get nice and muddy? Yeah. In winter? <laughs> yeah. It's really good that Irma's doing this expo. It's the first one in New Zealand and, um, and everyone's behind it. It's a good idea. So tell us a bit about MMA Gear. MMA Gear is an online retailer based in New Zealand. We were the very first one to start importing MMA Gear into New Zealand, branded clothing uh, from the States and other countries. Um, and we do everything we can to support all New Zealand events, uh, New Zealand MMA based um, organisations, teams, gyms and whatever we can. I'm pretty excited about people competing in the challenges. Ludus Magnus has a few challenges today and I'm excited about people beating my score. If someone can beat my score, I might have to do it again and try and beat that score. I'm really excited about introducing Boone to the New Zealand marketplace. Okay, it's, um, it's a label from uh, Thailand, um, used by John Wayne Parr and a lot of us. Big in Australia, I rate the gloves, I rate them really high. Like right now I'm real, just even it's like an honour to be here because the first one ever in New Zealand. I think next year is going to be a bigger one, you know, because MMA is becoming the fastest growing sport on the planet and that's why this year I'm retiring. I mean, MMA is always what I wanted to do, but this year I'm leaving Muay Thai so I can focus on being a mixed martial art as well rounded, you know. I was actually most excited about the MMA Women's Strong Women competition. Um, so we had a, like six girls enter, so it was really good to see um, the girls from the Jiu Jitsu and the MMA community step up. Now do you do your own training as well? You also have a camp, the New Zealand yes. Women's, yes? Yep, so we've got the New Zealand Girls Grappling Group and we've got our summer camp coming up 25th of January through to the 27th of January at Oliver MMA out in Glen Eden. Um, $180 for about seven seminars, so it's, it's really worth it. Lots of black belts come through and, and top New Zealand trainers and, and we just have loads of fun. It's all women and all just there to have fun and, and roll and, and learn some new stuff. No egos, yeah, it's great. The thing we're really strong on is supporting up and coming fighters. So if, if a coach comes to us and says, hey, I've got John Blo Joe Vlogs, he's got a lot of potential, can you hook him up? Yeah, we, we, we're there to support them and give them some gear and some clubs and what we can. I think it's awesome and I really, uh, you know, I really hoped that it was going to go well because it's a really good idea, but I just, you never know with Kiwis, they always stay inside what they know. So I'm really impressed, it's a, it's a good turnout and I'm really glad that it's a good turnout. It's just a gathering of martial arts, which is good. Um, it helps us, it ha helps us get the exposure for sure. Um, and it also means that combat sports are working together and that's what it should be about. Emma, congratulations. Thank you. A great success by anyone's measure. Everybody's been really excited about it. How do you feel about it? I'm pretty wrapped that everybody turned up. The fight community, you know, it's really big and it shows how much they, they love our martial arts here in New Zealand. So it's really awesome. Big ups to uh, all the fans that came out. Jamie Tahuna, Mark Hunt, Enter Nunoi um, and all the New Zealand based fighters. Awesome. Congratulations to Ehrman for a fantastically run event and we can't wait for next year's. Stay tuned.